My first chase of the season was on March 21st. This early season setup earned a moderate risk by the Storm Prediction Center and included the Texas State Capitol of Austin. The tornado we're focusing on today is the one that occurred in Round Rock. As a line of supercells approached the Austin Metro from the west, I focused on this storm coming through Round Rock. Yep, tornado right there. It's gonna come through Cedar Park. It's gonna come right at us here. This tornado would touch down in highly populated areas of Round Rock during rush hour, inflicting damage to the Boardwalk Shopping Center and ripping roofs off of homes, earning an EF2 rating along its 29 mile path. This could become a harder tornado. Horizontal vortex, but down on the right side there. As the tornado approached closer, I began planning the next move. Unfortunately, that's pretty popular over there at Cedar Park, which is a major suburb of Austin. Alright, so this is likely coming right at us. We're going to let it come at us because we have a great view of it. And then, I figure the escape plan. See the downward motion on the left side of the tornado? This, to me, is a visual sign that the tornado may be weakening. Could be roping out. So I decided to stay put for as long as I could. Amazingly, no fatalities were reported, and ultimately, the EF2 tornado cost over $32 million in damages and affected more than 680 homes. Look at that motion. The tornado finally roped out about a mile from my location, leaving pieces of buildings to flutter in the wind around me. Here comes a little bit of debris. Wow. It's roping out, it's basically disintegrating. After navigating the area to catch back up to the storm, I witnessed a weak EF0 tornado near Davia, Texas. Overall, 52 tornadoes were reported in Texas and Oklahoma this day, resulting in 52 injuries and sadly one fatality.